all the staff, medical practitioners, nurses and even um, volunteers have an important role to play. It's about creating an environment which is conducive to people getting better quickly and having good health outcomes. It's really important that that everybody contributes to that because it results in a much better outcome for patients and that's our primary concern. So if people are listened to, if their views are requested, if they're given options and they're well informed so they can make decisions and take responsibility for themselves. And if people make those decisions themselves, I think you always have a better outcome because you have been a significant player in that decision and you're empowered by that decision. When my husband was really ill, uh, the registrar who was working with the specialist, he gave me his mobile number and he said, if you are concerned about anything at all, ring me. And that was just so reassuring. Communication is the most important thing. Even if it's bad news, if you know what, you know what you're dealing with, it's when you don't know what you're dealing with, I think it's much harder. Consumer input is important because uh, who is better placed to be able to indicate to us what their needs are um, in terms of what their condition is. If we involve consumers in their care plan, uh, involve them in their care, then we will get a much better outcome. So in terms of getting consumer input, we get that at the point of care. At an organisation level, we get feedback through consumer and friends network. We use our patient feedback forms. There's a Victorian patient service monitor that's done every six months. Patients give their feedback to us based on their experience they had. Uh, during their time at Western District Health Service and that is very important to us in terms of looking at how we can make changes to improve for the future. Our staff have been very good at in involving consumers. We've also developed up a care coordination model here at Western District Health Service. That's been developed up in conjunction with consumers in terms of how many times they need to go through an assessment process so to make sure that everyone is involved in their care and that they, it is a smooth pathway. The reason I'm very proud of our staff is when I go around and talk to patients in, in the wards, so ward rounding, and I get feedback from patients about their care. And if that has, care has been compassionate, it's been caring, um, and they have been empowered and have been involved in their care, that gives me a lot of, gives me a lot of satisfaction about the organisation and, it's, and it shows that our staff are caring, compassionate and are providing a very good service to, to our patients. A good experience for a consumer would be that they've been treated with uh, compassion, uh, they've been treated with dignity, that their health and well-being is valued and, that it's, and they are just not seen as a number. They've had a good experience as a result of the care we have provided to them and that's important to us as an organisation. As a consumer, I think it, it really does start at the front door is a level of anxiety and if you can be greeted by someone that's friendly that can guide you to where you need to go and take a little bit of that anxiety away from you I think that's just absolutely sensational. I think that bedside communication is, is huge, absolutely huge, particularly for patients that are in there, they're, they're anxious, they're not sure what's going on, Whatever it might be, I think it's a great part, a big part of nursing where someone sits down with the patient just talks to them. It just relieves that anxiety and I think at the end of the day it does help their well-being while they're in hospital. Consumer Network is a, a really important initiative on behalf of the hospital and I think that's absolutely fantastic because it allows the consumers to communicate with the staff and from what I've seen, both parties have been receptive and it's been an absolute two-way street and so far as communication, there's been a, a lot of absolute value come out of it when it comes to staff relating to consumers. I think it's absolutely imperative that the, that the staff are, are looked after. We really do thank them for what they do and we want them to know that we do appreciate them in every aspect of what they do because that has a huge effect on us. So it's really important that we treat the staff with respect because we want respect back from them as well.